Hey team, in this video I'll be showing you how to install the MongoDB Server version 6 on Windows 11 as well as Mongo Shell and Compass. Now MongoDB is a free open source document oriented database which means the data is stored as documents and those documents are then grouped in collections. MongoDB is also classified as a no SQL database so let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to mongodb.com. We're going to come here to products and we're going to look for the community version of the database. Now the install is an MSI, so we're just going to download the version. I'm going to do the current version, but if you needed to, you can select the drop down to pick a older version. While that's downloading, we're also going to install the or pull down the Mongo shell. All right, so the reason we're having to pull down the Mongo shell is the legacy Mongo shell was deprecated in MongoDB 5, and then in version 6, it was removed altogether. The new shell is an open source standalone product separate from the database server itself. Okay, so while those are downloading, I'm also going to go into C, Program Files. I'm just going to create a Mongo shell folder. Now you can create this folder or um, even just use the straight extracted location. I prefer to create a folder and then I will take my extracted shell from my downloads and move it into there. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is extract my shell. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this folder. And then I'm going to move it to the location that I would like. Now what I want to do is go into that folder, go into the bin folder, and then copy this path. The reason being is that we're going to go into our environment variables. So we're going to click environment variables. What we want to do is make sure we're down in the system variables, look for the path variable. We're going to hit edit and we're going to create a new entry. So the reason we do this is that when the we type in the executable name into the command shell or in PowerShell or whatever else, Windows will automatically look in each of these folders for that executable before it bombs out. Okay. It looks like we have the installer ready to go. So we can now close the website and we're going to run the installer. Okay, we're going to run the install with all defaults. So I'm going to hit next, accept the end user license agreement, hit next. We're just going to do the complete install. We want to make sure that we uh, leave this checked, install MongoDB as a service. And then we also want to leave the data directory and log folder um, defaulted. Now you can change those if you want. I'm going to leave mine defaulted. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is leave the install Mongo DB compass and let that just do the install all together. All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while MongoDB continues to install. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, here we are with the install finished. Um, I accidentally clicked finish before unpausing the video, but you'll see that we have the MongoDB compass that was automatically launched. We're going to go ahead and minimize that at this moment. And then we're going to go to the program folder and our MongoDB server 6.0 bin and copy this path and add it to our environment variables. With all that set, we're going to click OK, close out our environment variables. Then what we want to do is just double check that the service is running. So we can look at Windows services for that. It will be listed as MongoDB server. While that's coming up, I'm also going to launch a Windows terminal. You can launch a command prompt, PowerShell, it's all the same. 
as far as what we want to do. Okay, our service is up. So I'm going to go search for MongoDB server. You can see that it is running. If for some reason it's not running, you could just start the service. Uh, restarting your computer will also um, start the service as the startup type is set to automatic. So the next thing I want to do is in my command shell, I'm just going to go ahead and hit MongoD hyphen hyphen version and I should get the database version and build information back as you see here. So at this point what I want to do is run the Mongo shell and I'm going to create a database and collection using the Mongo shell. So we're going to type in Mongo sh. That'll load up the Mongo shell. Once the Mongo shell is loaded we're going to do show dbs. And we can see our existing databases. These are the default databases that come as part of the install. And so now let's go ahead and create a database for our movies collection. So for ease, I've put up here the commands on the screen that I will be using in the command shell. First is use, we're going to call it movie collection. And you can see that it's switched to DB Movie Collection. Next thing we want to do is create the collection. Like so. And you see we got an OK response. And so what I'm going to do now is just populate some data into that collection. And then let's go ahead and do a dbmovies.find.pretty to see our data in the shell. And you can see that we have our uh, three movies that we've entered. You also notice that uh, the schema automatically appended or uh, added the IDs with an object type of object ID and auto generated IDs for those entries. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and double check in the MongoDB compass. We're going to connect to our instance. And we should see movie collection. And the movie collection, we should see movies. Now, I have two here because I had previously had a data that I was doing for a demo. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that collection. And I'm left with just the new one I created. All right, so now if you want to add data, you can come here and add a document. I'm going to switch my view here. And so I have, let's add Ghostbusters. So the name is Ghostbusters. We need another field rating and that was PG. We need another field called release date. And we're going to change that type to int 32. And the release date was 1984. And we're going to insert the record. And you can see we have our record here. Now if we go back to our Mongo uh, shell and show information, Again, you can see that Ghostbusters has been added. There's its object ID. Okay, so now editing your record, you just come here, click Edit, and let's say we wanted to say Black Panther came out in 2019. We'll change the information and click Update. And you can see the data is updated there. All right, so what I'm also gonna do is with uh, Compass, we're gonna create a uh, new database. And for everybody in the US, we're going to call this soccer. For everybody else, this is football. And our database is going to contain a collection of players. So we're going to create the database. And to populate this database, what I'm going to do is insert the JSON data. Now, I've had issues in the past where inserting the JSON data where it's formatted will throw an error. Uh, and in those instances, having the data one document per line 
has worked. So I'm going to go ahead and do import data. I'm going to select JSON. Go get my file. Let's see the player formatted. Import. You can see the import completed. And just for kicks, let's import the other file. You can see it auto selected JSON. Do import. And co import completed. And now you see we have. 20 documents. Oops. All right, so that's how you set up and install the MongoDB server, MongoDB Compass, and the Mongo shell. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you like it, give it a thumbs up.